What up? Stitch is 781. And this is... This is a good game right here. That's what this is. Music by Matt McFarland. Super Killer Hornet by Flump Studios. Now, this game is really cool for a couple of reasons. First of all, the music. I mentioned the music by Matt McFarland. I couldn't think of his name in another video that I did, which was a video that we did for um, Can You Handle? Oh, excuse me, Can You Handle Two at Once? And in that video, it was a that's a Daniel Steger game. And in that video, there is the the music we were talking about is just great. And I could not think of the guy's name that did it because I have the soundtrack. I actually have this music on CD. And it is by Matt McFarland. I don't know why I couldn't think of it at the time, but that's the guy's name. If you want, you can look it up. It's royalty-free music that he basically has for people to use. And it's great, great music for video games. Now, with that said, this is a kick-ass game. One of the elements in this game that makes it kick-ass is it's a bullet hell shooter, which I love. The other element that it's cool, but it's so hard for me because I suck at math and this game randomly throws math questions at you so we'll jump into this and you guys can see what I'm talking about we're going to go to arcade see, here's some of the music on here driven tunneled bring them out emergence trial by fire we're going to do tunnel that sounds pretty cool we go. Now, I gotta blast the shit out of these damn things coming at me, just like any good shooter. And there you go, five plus, there's my first part of a math problem. So five plus, and we'll get another number here soon. Five plus ten. That's fifteen. So when I see a fifteen, I gotta fly towards it. Oh, shit. And there it is, 15. There, see, I was correct. So, yeah, if you... <laughs> I actually, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but if you have a kid that likes video games and likes shooter games, and you can't get him off the video games and you want him to do his goddamn math homework, well, here's a game that can help you both out. He can play his fucking video games, and he can also do his damn math. It's like having flashcards in the middle of playing a game. Eight times. Ah, oh, now I lost it. Oh well. Didn't want to do math that much, anyways. Yeah. So a little bit of history about me. I never was good at math when I was in high school. I that was why I had to repeat the seventh grade. I well that and I just got all bad grades because I just didn't feel like doing anything that year. I was very angry and depressed, and yeah, I was in my own little head, I guess. But anyway, math was a very, very poor subject for me. I sucked at math really bad. I always got bad grades in math, and then when I moved to Norwalk High School, I ended up getting a teacher in pre-algebra, I think it was pre-algebra, and he was really, really cool. He actually taught me the stuff that I did, never got to learn throughout the years because I didn't even know. I, I only knew, like, basic multiplication, addition, and, some, and subtraction. But I always had a problem with subtraction, with subtracting and division. Don't know why. So, over the years, I, I always do bad. And then I got this teacher who was just, he was patient. He was nice. He was cool. And he taught me the things that I needed to know that I didn't know. And it was great because after that, I actually had my basic, you know, mathematics down. I don't know algebra. I never went to that. I just did pre. And I got a C, and that was good enough for me. Having a C instead of an F was great. So, any of you that can relate, you can leave your comments in, the, in below, and I will gladly read them and probably talk to you back because I have nothing better to do. I'm always down to conversate, so if you guys ever want to leave conversation, 
or start conversation in the comments, feel free to. Oh man, this is this is getting hard. I've already died. Three plus. Oh yeah. So if you hold the button instead of tapping the A button, you can do this. But I'm not very good at doing this. I mean, I'm all right now, but any other time I'd rather do this because it takes out more enemies. So three plus seven ten. Glad I figured that out quick, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, math not my favorite subject. English, on the other hand, I was in English. I was in, I, I was in drama. I was in uh, I got to be on the debate team. That was fun until the whole combine thing happened, and I had my own thing to say on that, and that stirred up a lot of shit, and I got kicked off the debate team for that. Oh, I got a wrong answer. I wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, a lot of things in high school did not go well for me. That's why I ended up getting kicked out of so many high schools. And I ended up on independent study or homeschooling, as most people know it as. And I finished up my shit there, and I didn't even finish high school. No bullshit. I'm, I'm not a high school graduate. I'm a fucking high school dropout. I was a drug addict and a fuck up for years. I got sober and I decided that, you know what, I'm going to do game stuff. I'm going to do something that I really enjoy that keeps me sober, that keeps me chill. I, I, when I say sober, I mean away from hard drugs, not marijuana and alcohol. Alcohol is fine if you do it in increments. I don't drink heavily. I drink, I have a couple beers a day. I have two or three beers at a you know a day, so I don't think that considers me as an alcoholic or a heavy drinker because I know people that drink way more than that. And I smoke weed on occasion, but I smoke weed. Ah, oh, I got the wrong answer because I wasn't paying attention. But I smoke marijuana on the side because I have seizures and it helps with my seizures and it helps with my anxiety. And if you don't believe that, then you need to do your fucking homework because trust and believe me, it's helped me. Ask anybody that knows me, ask my mom, ask anybody, and they will tell you that marijuana is the least of people's problems. Look out for meth, crack, heroin, all that shit. That's what you need to be concerned about. I almost got 11. I almost went for 11. Oh my god. Y'all saw that. I almost went for number for the 11, and that would have been so stupid of me. No, I got a couple wrong answers, but that's because I'm trying to, you know narrate and play this at the same time and this is not an easy task. Yeah. So yeah, I'm trying to do multiplication, addition, whatever. I'm trying to do math as I'm trying to fly in between all these bullets and crazy shit and oh my god, and I gotta kill everything on screen and I'm dying a lot and oh, I died again. This is my last life. But yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I loved English though. I was really good at that. I loved writing. Chemistry too. And I loved chemistry. I was writing, I was great at chemistry. <laughs> so that is Super Killer Hornet. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like it, you can get it on the Xbox Live Indie Game Marketplace for one dollar. Woo! Yeah, it's not gonna break the pocket. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, Stitcher Seven Eight One. Plus the folks alongside me here. She didn't say much, but she's still here. <laughs> Peace out.